Hello everybody and welcome back, where today we've had some exciting developments for PC and PlayStation. We have had PS apps and everything like that on PC before. They do exist. You can use them to share screen and share play and everything like that. If you want to play away from your console, it works okay, but Sony haven't really touched it in a good long while. But they've just introduced their first look at the PlayStation overlay coming to PC for Ghost of Tsushima's launch. Now, while this is a flat game, this might give us some insight in how Sony are planning to integrate PC support with this new upgrade to the PS PC ecosystem. The details are all in their PS blog, which we'll go through right now. They state, hey everyone, Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut is coming to PC on May 16th, so very, very soon in just under a month. Today, we're giving you all the details on cross-play support in Legends mode and the inclusion of a new PlayStation overlay with support for PlayStation trophies and more. They then go on to say that crossplay is around for Legends and the Iki Island expansion is also on the game and you'll be required to sign into your PSN account to access Legends on PC. Now, here comes the interesting bit. Ghost of Tsushima's Director's Cut is the first PlayStation title on PC that uses a new PlayStation overlay, which includes your friends list, trophies, settings, and your profile. This feature is available on Windows PCs and will be accessible from the in-game menu or for keyboard players by pressing Shift F1 shortcut on your keyboard. While playing the game, you can earn PlayStation trophies just like on PlayStation consoles. Ghost of Tsushima's Director's Cut on PC shares the same trophy set as the game on PS5 consoles. In addition, the PC version also has full support for achievements on Steam and the Epic Games Store. To make use of features like trophies, friends list, crossplay, you can sign in with your existing account for PSN or create a new account. And the use of the overlay is optional. Now, this could be nothing, to be honest, but I think this is the start of the framework for what will eventually be used to include the PSVR 2 support on PC. Now that there is actually a framework for this, perhaps in the future we could not only get PSVR 2 support through this as maybe this overlay could be developed into some sort of app, it could be some testing ground because this seems to be carrying the same achievements over and everything like that and maybe while using your PSVR 2 or maybe while just on this PS overlay or app eventually we could have party support so you could join in and chat with your friends while you're on PC and they're on PlayStation, how cool would that be? But more importantly I just have a gut feeling that this has something to do with how PSVR 2 is going to connect to PC. Perhaps it could mean that some PSVR 2 first party games could be brought over to PC like Horizon Call of the Mountain and the trophy list could be accessible there if that ever does happen. And it would act as kind of the in-between software between say Steam VR and the PSVR 2. Now, if you don't really know the purpose of these in-between softwares and you've just used PSVR 2 with the PS5, you'll have kind of no need to. But if you've ever used a PC VR headset, you'll know that Basically, all of them come with a proprietary software that you have to download onto your PC to then configure it, whether that's to configure the refresh rate that you want to be set at, set up your room tracking or connect your controllers. All of it is done through a software that you install that usually comes from the developer or producer's website that you then download it from. Something like the overlay we're seeing here could definitely be used for PSVR 2 connection, I think, in the future, and I'm just excited to see how that develops. I just thought it was worth making a video on today since there's not too much else to talk about. As I should, at time of publishing, just got my hands on Soul Covenant and Big Shots for some testing and review, so keep an eye out for that over the next couple of days. But I just thought it was worth mentioning that this could be our first look at PC native software that could be used as the basis and the start and an inkling of how the PSVR 2 could connect. As you can tell, I'm very excited for this to actually come across and happen, so please do let me know in the comments below if you're excited too. Thank you to our patrons, Luke Bentley, Phil Irving, Hazik Mirza, and Ace Gamer. Your guys' support helps keep the channel going day after day and week after week, so thank you all very much for that. The links to both the Patreon and the Discord are in the description below if you want to check them out. Thank you all for watching. What do you guys think of this news? I think it's pretty exciting. And once again, thank you all for joining me, and I hope to see you all in the next video.